close racing supply in Eldred, Pennsylvania has been in business since 1996, serving the motorsports industry with quality parts and components for dirt late models, modifieds, and stock lip race cars. Check out the expanded inventory at their new larger location or give them a call at 814-225-3250. In stock at Close Racing Supply are parts from the most popular manufacturers like All-Star Performance, Wears Machine, Dynamic Drive Lines, Winners Performance, Willwood, Quick Car Racing Products, and many others. They also manufacture their own quality CRS race components. Check out the website at CloseRacingSupply.com or follow them on Facebook. Go to the green flag for the first time tonight here at McKean County Raceway. It is Layfield on the inside. Kane up top. Green flag in the air. Eight laps. Heat one to clear the pier stocks as they fire into turn one for the first time. Victor Earl Jr. quickly jumps from fourth to second to the top lane as he is trying to take over the lead down the back straightaway for the first time side by side into turn three. They sling the machines through three and four up off of the corner onto the front straightaway. And Victor Earl Jr. in one lap has gone from fourth to first and he is starting to pull away. Now it is Layfield in the one. 21. He gets shoved up the racetrack in turn number two. He loses a bunch of position. He gets drop kicked all the way back to fourth. Now being challenged for fifth. But the 24 of Anthony Schoonover. He is now riding in the number two spot. Followed by Roy Gerhardt in third. Meanwhile, it continues to be Victor Earl Jr. Who is pulling away as they head down the back straightaway. Coming to three laps down. Or two laps down. Going to be working on lap number three when it, it is Victor Earl Jr. who now comes off a of turn four, crosses the stripe. Victor Earl Jr. continuing to lead the way as they head off of turn number four, back onto the front straightaway, and he has set his sights on the clear racetrack in front, halfway down, halfway to go, as Victor Earl Jr. continuing to hold off Anthony Schoonover as the 07 of Barry Burrett smoking heavily as he works his way down the front straightaway into one and two and continues to have smoke just billow out the back of that double zero seven machine as he is off a of turn four back on the front straightaway some issues for the double or the zero seven of Barry Burrett two laps to go however for Victor Earl Jr. through three and four back on the front straightaway Tony Van Pelt up on that flag stand as always giving him the two to go signal next time around he will see the white flag as Anthony Schoonover rides in second Roy Gerhardt third we're going to Mallory fourth and the 55X of Andrew Fry rounds out your top five. Coming to the white flag, one more time to go around for Victor Earl Jr. in the double zero. Battle for fourth, starting to pick up as Fry has gotten to the back bumper of Mowry. Mowry close to the gap now on Gerhardt for third, going into turn one for the final time. Down the back straightaway with half a lap to go. It is all Victor Earl Jr. He went from fourth to first on the first lap and never looked back. Victor Earl Jr. is going to put it in victory lane in the first heat of the afternoon at Keene County Raceway. Schoonover across the line second. Gerhardt third. Bruno Mowry fourth. And Andrew Fry in the 55X rounds out the top five. Check out Lizard Lit Pit Lights for all of your pit lighting needs, available in dual or single kits. Do you have an open trailer? We have you covered. Five foot kits available in red, black, and orange, perfect for your food trucks or cart trailers. Need canopy lighting? We do that too. Looking for something flashy? Check out our powder coated and telescoping line. Join the family today. Visit lizardlitpitlights.com and don't get caught in the dark. So we'll see if they can uh, cooperate properly as they head off of turn number four. Great flag goes in the air and heat number two of the pier stocks is underway as Tim Stice gets the whole shot lead into turn number one but is immediately challenged for the race lead by Gustafson. A three car flight for the top spot as they head down the back straightaway. One car slow up and off their pace at a turn number two. That's Harold Brown. Gustafson oversteps a little bit in turn number three and that allows Tim Stice to open up the advantage. You can call it 
five car lengths and they head back into one and two. Tim Stice riding about a groove higher on the track than Gustafson as they head down the back straightaway, stabilizing that lead now, but Gustafson chips into it just a tad bit through three and four. Gustafson all the way at the bottom of the racetrack and he pulls up pretty close to that bumper of Stice down the front straightaway. He has chopped the car length or two off that race lead. Make it a car length advantage off of turn number two. Down the back straightaway, Stice pulls away a tad bit. They're back into three and four as it is Gustafson again, hard charging on the bottom of the racetrack. Stice using that high line momentum. He climbs back to the top of the racetrack in one and two. Gustafson slides up. He will follow suit. One car goes for a spin right at the corner entrance to turn number one, and that is going to bring out a yellow flag. Three laps down. Five laps to go off of turn number four. Green flag goes back in the air, and uh, Tim Stice, who gets a good jump yet again as they head back into one and two, Reminiscence to what Tim Stice did on the initial drop of the green flag, but this time Gustafson hangs with them a little bit. Stice has a trunk full of Gustafson off of turn number four, side by side for the race lead, halfway down, halfway to go as they drag race back into turn one. Off of turn number two, Stice slides up the racetrack, up corner exit. That opens up the door even more for Gustafson to slide through, and he clears him off turn four. Zach Gustafson to the race lead as they head down the front straightaway, back into one and two. Three laps to go as Gustafson has just a half a car length of separation between him and Tim Stice. Coming to two laps to go, Gustafson seems to be stronger at this part of the racetrack in three and four as he extends his lead by a car flank down the front straightaway back into turns one and two. Two more times around, nearly contact in turn number two as Stice drove it in really deep. Couldn't get to the back bumper and that allowed Gustafson to check out even more off of turn four. White flag in the air. One more time around for Zach Gustafson as he is pulled away by four car lengths. He slings his machine through one and two for the final time and now heads down the back straightaway with half a lap to go. Gustafson coming to the checkered flag all by his lonesome at the front of the field off of turn four. Back on the front straightaway Zach Gustafson is going to score the win in heat number two of the Pierce Stocks.